Hello, the winners are here. Um, it was a long time ago since I made a video. It's about um, two months ago, I think, so that's a while. Um, my Packard Battle computer still has the same problem. It won't boot up, it doesn't see the C2 drive, and it also doesn't boot from a floppy disk. Um, it's too warm to get the big monitor from the attic, so I just got this, uh, I think, 14 or 15 inch HP monitor. Let me select here the keyboard and the mouse. Um, I took all the computer apart, um, cleaned up everything, because maybe I will see the problem, but that didn't work yet either. So I'll just turn the computer around and let you show what the problem. Okay. Uh, it, it's turned on. I will show you this. Keyword detected. Mouse detected. Pro processor speed. All the normal things. But. Also the hard drive uh, isn't getting power by some kind of reason, other hard drives do, so I think the hard drive is dead, but here you see, floppy drives installed into media of hard drive, so the problem is the computer for some kind of reason doesn't see any CD drive and that's the main problem because maybe I will install another hard drive I have uh, another one gigabyte CK hard drive so that isn't the problem but I need to install Windows 95 from a CD you can say uh, Windows 95 you can install from a floppy but then I come install navigator uh, my games I want to play on it so um, I have just boot this from Windows 98 uh, my dad said maybe the boot disk is working more so I did it in my uh, my satellite that's over there and that it works, so that's weird. I will show you my uh, BIOS settings. It's pretty slow, but... Come on. Please wait. Yeah, I've been waiting for a long time. Ah, there you go. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> that was weird. I also replaced the CMOS battery. That was dead, but uh, that's normal for such an old computer. Floppy drive, uh, everything is. Uh, re uh, I changed that maybe. I thought maybe is that the problem? Copy of A installed, so that's good. Boot options. Floppy drive hard CD ROM and there is disabled. So that's normal in my opinion. Um Yeah, I changed the floppy thing. So I'm unsure of my floppy. Um I'll turn on it first. Turn off. There's my floppies in. What? What the heck? What is this? Ah, oh, I did something wrong. 
Give me a sec. Get up the case. All right. I'll see him. Turn on the computer. Let's see. It's starts reading. And I also don't no, don't know if there are keys to to choose where the computer needs to boot from, like uh, floppy drive, CD drive, network, hard disk, one, two, three, you know. It just doesn't boot. And I pay 35 euros for the PCs. So, it would be nice if it's gonna work. I also think of to go to a professional, but I think that isn't worth it because uh, that will cost me at least 60 euros so that's a lot of money and if they need to spend another hour searching the problem another another six years six years six years so that's gonna cost me a lot of money so Hopefully, someone knows the problem. Uh, I would really appreciate if someone can help me. I'll give you a shout out, whatever you want. So, uh, this is what the wind is near. I'm still alive. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Um, you can send me a private message or post a response in the video to help me or yeah do that please thank you